Okay, a few of you were wondering how the uh, elephant's foot thing works in the uh, Bamboo Lab Studio. First I'll show you this one, which was printed... Uh, actually, it was at uh, zero, 0... 0.02. And as you can see, it's all flat, comes clear out to the edge. If you look at it this way, you can just see these ridges along here. That's the elephant's foot. In the case of gears that have to mesh closely, that's going to be a problem. So, <clears throat> I finally got down to just doing a full one, one millimeter on the elephant's foot. So I think you can actually see how this very first layer starts in, instead of going all the way out. It's inside, it's around all of these on the inside. So in the end, you don't have any of those. So where you find this uh, control, in your bamboo labs. It would be over here in your quality setting. Go down to the precision setting and then right down here it says elephant's foot compensation. And Normally it's going to be set at zero so you just go in there and type in the number you do want. I'll put in one. So now it has one on the elephant's foot compensation. If I hover over um, well, earlier it was had had text there. Let's see if I can get there we go. Shrink the initial layer on build plate to compensate for elephant's foot effect. So there it is. It's in the quality section. It's in the precision section of the quality section. It's the very bottom of that. So you put that in. Then when you go up and hit slice and it's slicing a new file, a gear that I haven't printed yet. Well, actually, it's running on the printer as we speak. And it's a kind of a complicated gear. It's multi-layers, two size gears and stacked two layers tall. So it's going to take about a half an hour uh, in print time. But there you have it. In case you were wondering how to use the elephant's foot in your Bamboo Lab Studio.